How can we ensure that we're changing with times, technology, culture, politics, and tastes, um, rather than just trying to beat our competitor? And you see it across industries. Uh, you know, uh, publishing, for example. Um, you know, the internet showed up and they, they saw it and they thought it was nice. And they, you know, as it took on, they sort of, I guess they were interested in it. They sort of played defense. And then Amazon showed up and Amazon went to all of them and said, hey, you want to invest in us? And they all said, no. Well, now they're all playing catch up. They're all playing defense. You know, Netflix went to Blockbuster and said, want to buy us? And Blockbuster said, no. Uh, the rest of the TV and movie industry were too busy comparing who had higher ratings and they completely missed the fact that Netflix has now completely reinvented television. Um, I find that fascinating. General Motors was destroying its own electric vehicles in an, in a, in a, in a, to protect its old business, and now they're all rushing to catch up with Tesla. I think this is hilarious. And it's the little companies, the Netflixes, the Amazons, the Teslas, that get ignored, that aren't seen as a threat, that end up defining and redefining entire marketplaces. Now, this is not unique to small companies. Big companies can absolutely redefine. The problem is big companies are more obsessed with their finite goals. Big companies are more obsessed with beating their competitors. And little companies are obsessed with their vision. Little companies are obsessed with this outsized vision that outstrips the resources they have, right? Somebody says, we're going to do this. And everybody looks around and goes, well, we don't have the money for that. We don't have the talent for that. I guess we'll have to be creative. And I think this is one of the opportunities for big companies. As they get big, their visions get smaller. They become goals that they can just do a back plan for. There's nothing inherent that a big company shouldn't be innovative. Um, but to your point before, they become risk averse, they become stable, um, and at the end of the day, it takes huge vision. What I imagine is a huge corporation, a multi-billion dollar corporation, that someone will say, we imagine a world that's so crazy and so idealistic that in this large corporation, they all look around and go, we don't have the money for that. We don't have the talent for that. I guess we'll have to be creative, um, which scares the heck out of um, uh, uh, the investor community. But remember, all of those companies were founded by you know, whether it's your Steve Jobs or your, all, of, all of these companies, Salesforce, they all started by young people who had no experience and only had vision. Um, and I think that's, I, there's no reason why big companies cannot, uh, cannot be innovative, but I think it's about pushing their own boundaries and allowing for entrepreneurship. Um, and inherent in entrepreneurship is failure. You can't experiment without failing. I remember talking to a CFO of a big company once, and he told me that he has two priorities for the company. Uh, 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 innovation and efficiency. I, I, I said, good luck with that. You know, there's nothing efficient about innovation because you have to keep trying something over and over again. There's nothing efficient about that. And for some reason, I don't know what it is, companies are obsessed with growth. And everybody, they, they brag, we're a hyper growth, growth company. Show me one article, not 10, not 15, show me one article that shows any data that hyper growth is good for business and good for the company. There is no data to show that companies who are obsessed with growth actually build stronger companies because they don't. Um, and so it is a fool's errand that is promoted usually by an incentive structure that rewards short-term benefits. I think what companies can do is start to look at their incentive structures and start rewarding things like teamwork, ethics, and, uh, and long-term gain. And guess what? You'll get the behavior you reward.